So this is a question um, uh, which is uh, which was asked in J E Mains in 2021, which is a very straightforward question. It says that the center of mass of the quarter disk, right, of the quarter of the disk shaded area is x by 3 into a by pi. It's x by 3 into a by pi. And we know that the center of mass of a quarter of a disk is 4r by 3 pi. So when we compare x a by 3 pi and 4r by 3 pi, we can say that the value of x is equal to 4. And that is exactly what's been asked in the question, where x is, where x is equal to 4, where x is 4. So uh, I think this was an integer type question. Well, um, you have the answer, so a very straightforward answer here. Now, what's important to understand here is that, uh, is the fact that, um, how did we say that the center of mass of a quarter of a disk is 4r by 3 pi, which is, which is really important. So to understand the center of mass of this quarter of a disk, we know that center of mass of any body system of particles is equal to integral x dm by integral dm, right? And since the mass is not specified here, it is given that the disk is only of mass m, we, and with a uniform surface mass, then mass density, if we call that uniform surface mass density as sigma, right, as sigma, what is sigma is equal to? Sigma will be equal to m by a, right? Therefore, what is m is equal to? m will be equal to sigma into a, so we can say that dm will be equal to sigma into da and therefore we can write this x bar as integral x sigma into da by integral dm now integral dm we know is the sum of all the system of or uh, sum of all the masses present in the system of masses which will be equal to which will be equal to m but what would be integral x sigma da so this question basically also puts a thought into your mind to find out using mathematical concepts and derive the center of mass of a quarter of a disk using the formula x bar is equal to integral sigma x da by m, which means this x bar is actually dependent on da and we need to first find out the expression for da, which is usually done in two ways. One, using Cartesian coordinates and two, using the polar coordinates, okay? So, so yes, uh, what we'll do is we'll discuss this in three different parts. This was the direct solution. This will be our second discussion, how to derive it in, how to derive it in um, polar coordinates. And in the third part, we'll discuss how to derive this in Cartesian coordinates. And this is gonna be a really, really long, uh, solution because you know there are so many concepts involved there is so much of visualization to be done so make sure that you uh, uh, just don't you know uh, by heart this formula and you try to recall it during the exam no see since we are preparing for which exam are we trying to focus on preparing for the je mains you should also be able to derive these formulas why not because of the fact that je mains will ask you to derive it no we obviously know that the je mains is only about mcqs but you may get a question which might be based on derive, you know, a similar derivation. Okay, so keeping that in mind, let's focus our attention to finding out the value of x bar using polar coordinates.